Thank you so much for saving my daughter's life. Only on KDKA, a mother speaking out tonight after her daughter was at the center of an unbelievable rescue. A young woman about to jump off the Clemeny Bridge stopped by a stranger. That stranger turned out to be a major league umpire, and tonight the woman's mother has a special message for him. Lynn Hayes Freeland joins us live with this exclusive. Lynn. Julie, how do you even begin to say thank you to a man you've never met, a total stranger, yet that man's compassion and his heroic efforts saved your daughter's life? Well, a local woman told me she doesn't know exactly what to say, but she wants to say thank you. This is the image most people will remember. Major League Baseball umpire John Tampain trying to comfort a distraught woman who had intended to commit suicide by jumping off the Clemente Bridge. While all eyes were focused on him, Serena Gowdy was looking at the woman. She knew immediately it was her 23-year-old daughter. I definitely know my daughter. I know, I know by her, funny to say, I knew by her arm and the bottom of her mouth, I knew that that was my daughter. A chance meeting with a total stranger that saved her daughter's life. Gowdy says her daughter had just received bad news and had a feeling of hopelessness. As a mother, she's now forever grateful for what she describes as divine intervention. God had to place him there. God had to have placed him there. And I thank God for that because if he wasn't just going across this bridge and seeing this woman, doing this. There's, I don't know how I'll be talking right now. Gowdy's daughter is getting the help she needs to get her life back on track, but she and her mother realize it is this man, John Tampain, a man she never met that saved her life, literally. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for saving my daughter's life. Our family loves her, and we love him for saving her, because without him, we'd, I don't know where our family would be. We would be in turmoil. Now, Gowdy says her daughter has a two-year-old son. Those two reunited again. Reporting live, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV News.